Last time on Final Fantasy IV, we came to Fabul to warn them of an oncoming attack, and now we're defending them from that attack. Of course, now we don't have Rosa and Rydia, so it's just Team Punch plus Edward. And we're starting right off with a battle with the recolor of the General and Baron soldiers, and get this, this is the Captain and the Baron Marines. Now we're fairly close to the ocean, sure, but this isn't naval combat. You guys are going to die horribly. Other than that, they still have the same weakness, and uh, in fact, they also have a new weakness. Because they are technically sea enemies, because they're marines, they are weak to Yang's electric claws. So, punch them with electricity after they're confused, and you've won the battle. Uh, add that with the fact that Edward can just use life's anthem, and... Once the uh, captain is dead, he has basically no chance of getting hit, and you don't need Rosa and Rydia that much, and it's kind of a joke of a fight. Now, I kind of hate this sequence, not due to difficulty, but just because it's kind of dumb. Not so much this part, because we're getting bombarded, so it actually makes sense at this point why we would retreat. That's fair, I can totally see that. Maybe we shouldn't have been standing out in the open in the first place, so we wouldn't get hit by bombs. That makes sense. Okay, now we're... <laughs> now we're inside, and we're already declaring it a hopeless fight for some reason. I don't know why. We kinda kick the crap out of those enemies. They're breaking through, considering we don't actually have gates in front of the door. Okay, whatever. So now we're approached by a single robed man who is actually a snake lady, a fish man, and a goblin. So this is just a random bunch of enemies that aren't difficult. Like, none of them are difficult. So I don't know why we should feel threatened. Like, look, life's anthem. Guess who's gonna get be healed nearly to full? Cecil. Cecil, uh, he did because I got two 37s in a row so I got healed to full. So that was an easy fight. That was, in fact, a joke of a fight. There was no chance the enemy had to actually win that unless I stood there for hours to take a lot of hits. And now they're dead. And guess what? What are you talking about? We kicked their ass. We can totally handle this. There is nothing threatening about these guys, but we run away anyway. What the hell? Okay, so we should absolutely not let them into the throne room, because that would be bad. So let's, oh, I don't know, hold our ground, maybe? You know, the thing we didn't do despite having a clear advantage? And guess what? Another Captain and Baron Marines, which are to threat! What the hell? This whole sequence is so dumb! The enemy has no chance of defeating us, but we're like, oh, oh god, oh no, more enemies, oh, we can't handle these guys. Seriously, I'm still at full health because music is playing. Why are we afraid? Ah, uh, this is so dumb. Uh, by the way, side note, uh, I looked it up and I can't find anything saying that Edward doesn't run away when at critical health in the DS version but I've never actually seen him run away in, in this version of the game, so I'm pretty sure still that it's not a passive ability anymore. I guess I could be wrong, but I'm pretty damn sure I've never actually seen him run away. Okay, so this time we're going to stand here and... N no, no, what are you talking about? Oh, this is no place for us to make a stand. What, do you want to look cooler? Is it not cool enough? Is it because we're just standing in front of a stairway in just some random hallway? Is that it? Is that the fucking problem, Edward? Is that the problem you have? Okay, now we're in the throne room, so it's gonna be cool when we fight them off. Oh, now they're just one room away from the crystal. Good job, idiots! Oh, and that monk wasn't actually a monk. Gee, I don't know, maybe he's backstabbing us? Oh man, oh, it was a trick. <laughs> That's no monk. You and your maybe Star Wars references. Oh no, a single gargoyle! Anything but that! He's dead now! Oh my god, Cecil, Young, Edward, why are you all morons? 
is, is the real reason Rosa and Rydia are gone that they would just stare at you like you were idiots if they were still here? Because you are? Oh, oh no, now, oh, now the random mix of enemies. Oh, I'm terrified. Oh, anything but this. Like, come on. If you're going to tell me that I should be threatened by enemies, at least make them threatening in some capacity. At least make them look scary. Like, send an enemy my way that I don't want to look at, and I'll be like, okay, sure, I'm easily winning this fight. But it's kind of unpleasant smelling, so I guess we should leave. There, the enemies are dead. Now let's actually make a stand, as in stand here. Or, oh, I don't know, maybe move to the door and relock it? Because the door wasn't destroyed. No, there's not too many of them. The door wasn't destroyed. Go over and lock the... No! No! Don't go over to the crystal chamber! They could just go around you while fighting. Oh no, two more robed men. Now we're going to fight more of them, as though this is threatening. Why are you playing the scary music? I'm not terrified, in any capacity. Oh, they're doing 100 damage. Edward's got the lowest HP, and he's still at 453. That's still pretty good. He'd have to be hit around four times to die. And because of Life's Anthem, that's not gonna happen. Oh my god, guys. Why? Look, that guy just hit himself, and you're playing the scary music. Why would you do that? Okay, the battle's over. Now that we've discovered that even when Edward fucks up, we can still win, can we please go back to the door and lock it and then stand there and actually try to defend the place? There is no threat. No, guys, no! Don't stand in front of the thing you're guarding! Don't stand directly in front of it, you idiots! Oh my god, you're all... Oh, oh hey, Kane. Maybe it's a good thing that Riddy is not here. That's the real reason, because Kane's back, and kind of out of nowhere, too. But hey, I'm glad you're alright. Oh, god damn it, Kane. Okay, is it the repeated comments about you being a child murderer? Because, in fairness, you were really adamant about killing that kid. Like, let's go back. Re rewind the tape. I'll show you. Oh, crap. Alright, so... <laughs> so our good old pal Dragoon is back. But this time he's our enemy. Why, Kane? Why? I'm just here to stab you repeatedly. And he starts by jumping, so we can't actually hit him. Okay, now we can hit him. Alright, kick his ass, Cecil. Don't take this shit. You got this. You can... Yeah, critical! Nice! You did pretty good. How much HP did he even have? Like, 500? We can take him. We got this. Somebody go back and tell me how much HP he had, or I'll look at it. Because he should be dead by now. How much HP do you have, Dragoon? Whoop, you can't hit me! Oh man, check out these cool moves! Can't even hit me, and then I'm gonna stare at you awkwardly. Alright, so, now that I'm infused with the power of darkness, then we can just stab him better. Alright, 768! He should definitely be dead! No, yeah, this is definitely the end. For you, more like. Fantastic diss by me! Okay, I've, I'm defeated now. Kane, even you now? I mean, are you really surprised? Let me ease your suffering. You'll do nothing! <laughs> okay, that's all I got. Back to stabbing! Rosa. Kane, tell me you've not turned traitor. <laughs> Don't. Look at me. I'm hideous! Kane, why do you now hesitate? Well, because I'm in front of Rosa and I just woke up and my hair's a mess. He's 
stomach and groin region make a face. You're him. The usurper. I mean, I assume. So, you are Cecil. Allow me to give you something. A gift to remember our meeting. It's death! Cecil, let me through! Nope. <laughs> he just punches him. Why did that work before? Okay, they got wrecked, though. And don't get shoved aside this time, you dork. Wait, what? It's tiny now! It was gigantic and green a few seconds ago. Ugh. Ugh, I'm so conflicted. Just let him take the crystal. <laughs> I'm dying right now. Yoink! <laughs> Did you see that? Mage girlfriend disappear! Pretty cool, right? I'm great with magic. Remember when I blasted you in the face with generic purple energy? That was pretty cool. Yeah, I'm a great magician. Anyway, bye, fucker. Yoink. Just taking all those steps gently. Life is spared for now. Kane, wait! Well, at least he didn't try to kill Rydia this time. Well, now that they're all dead, I guess now I'm the main character of Final Fantasy IV! I think you're gonna need a full revive for that one, Rydia. They kind of got completely wrecked. Just with a single attack. I mean, physically we're actually not that bad, but mentally, well, now I kind of feel like a moron. <laughs> we could not even defend the crystal! How could this have possibly happened when we repeatedly retreated for no reason? Oh yeah, let's just simply go after the guys that completely wiped the floor with us. That's a great idea. I mean, in fairness, we weren't trying that hard, but nonetheless... Alright, so, Cecil, <laughs> what happened to you? I thought we were pals, man. thought we were buds. Oh, R Rydia should not be in the front row. Well, they kidnapped her. That's something. Alright, so... That was a complete fuck-up. Cecil, you gotta admit... That was real bad. Next time, try harder, please. Please, for my sake. Alright, so there's a hidden passage right here. Let's see what we get from this old area. Spider silk, that causes slow. Demon shield, new armor, of course. Ether. Eh, we've gotten ether before. That just uh, recovers magic. So, let's give... Cecil the demon shield which is way cooler than the Dark Shield. You can now call me XXX Cecil Harvey XXXX. Alright, because I kind of like symmetry. There, that looks a little bit better. Okay, so now that Yong's actually in the front row again, where he should be, we can now proceed to, well, uh, not do any fighting yet. Now, on the bright side, we did fuck up completely and repeatedly, but the castle wasn't destroyed, so bit of a step up from Damsin. Sorry, Edward. But nonetheless, again, we really screwed up badly. To be honest, the only reason we this place probably wasn't destroyed, probably due to the fact that we just wasted so much time that the Usurper was like, Well, hmm, uh, got something scheduled for 4.30, so I guess we'll just take the crystal and not destroy the palace. So, lucky us, we did delay him to the point where he didn't kill everyone. Whoopee, we did great, we're fantastic heroes. Anyway, the game is very subtly hinting that we're going to need to go rest at the inn. And of course, when we do that, uh, often the indication that you have to go to the inn in this game is that you get a free inn visit. So, we're gonna get a free inn visit. <laughs> You're alright, 
you weren't killed. Fist pump. Ow. Well, they don't have skulls anymore. Fuck them up, Yong's wife. Alright, nothing new here as per you. Okay, we just get the not uh, cutscene-ish version of that conversation? I mean, we didn't all appear to talk to her, but we still had the same exact conversation, so it's, I guess, let's cutscene-y, if that's what you'd call it, but whatever. Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, let's go to the end, because the game's like, hey, 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 maybe you should rest up. Wink. Wink with the other eye. Wink again with the first eye. Blink. You might want to go to the inn. You get, you get it? Because we're trying to be real subtle here. <laughs> Sorry, the uh, low resolution face kind of made me giddy. That does present a bit of a problem. Nope, not without an airship. <laughs> yeah, remember when we fucked up the Marines? Those guys suck. But what if they send two groups of soldiers? Will we ever be able to defeat them? Oh, his name was Dragoon. And he really wanted to murder Rydia. Like, really, out of nowhere, he was like, Hey, let's kill this child. Okay, fine. I'll just be sad. Transform and roll out. Well, by any way, I mean punching and kicking. You do that very well, though, so it should be very helpful. By the way, uh, that, by some sources, is implied to be Leon from Final Fantasy II. So, I guess Final Fantasy II and Final Fantasy IV kind of take place in the same world, even though they don't. I mean, there's a Mesidia in both games, but they look a lot different, they're in different locations, etc, etc, but... Yeah, I have seen people say that that is, uh, the Dark Knight Leon from Final Fantasy II. Remember that jerk who tried to backstab us repeatedly? Until the Emperor came back and was like, Hey, how's it going? I'm a pretty great villain, and Leon's like, I, <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't dare steal your throne. Uh, guys, back me up here. Okay, so now we have a new sword. If anything should happen to Rosa, I'm gonna bop that gold bez right on his nose! So, now we have no spirit left, but we have a sword named Deathbringer, so I think that's a fair compromise. So, now Cecil's name can be XXXXX Cecil Harvey 49684301 XXXXX. He will be the coolest Dark Knight in all the land. And everywhere he walks, he shall hear that one voice clip from Catherine that goes, Edge, 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 Edge. Alright, well, anyway, now that we're done talking about how cool Cecil Harvey is with his sword, the Deathbringer, we really should get out and... Well, I guess we're just gonna go right back to Baron by boat. And I guess we'll stab a few of those marines in the face. I mean, come on. They were weak before. Now we're just gonna decimate those guys because we have Rydia back with us and, you know, she knows how to shoot electricity from nothing. So, I think she's got this handled alongside our punch monk. Of course, once we get past the marines, I don't know what we're going to do, but hey, that's what trying our best is for, right? Right? You're not going to come with us and use that frying pan. Uh, 
Is it the frying pan? Please be the frying pan. Oh, it's the counter augment. To be fair, though, the counter augment is pretty good. I'll explain it later, but pretty much everyone gives it to Cecil, and it will indeed be the first augment I will equip, and actively use as well. I was kinda hoping it would be the frying pan, though. Cast iron will kinda wreck heads. I mean, I've never been hit by a frying pan before, but having lifted one, I really don't think I'd want to. Seems like it would be unpleasant. And with that, we set out for Baron. I wonder if they'll somehow see us coming from a mile away and we'll have to do a lot of fights, or if we're just gonna casually make our way into their docks and they'll be like, Oh, shit, a boat. We didn't expect those guys to be attacking so soon. Or maybe this is like Sid Meier's Pirates. We'll go get sidetracked by everything else and do a really good job of beating up a whole lot of pirates, but then we'll get to Baron and then we'll be way too old to actually put up a good fight and then we'll have to restart the game. Okay, that sure was a cutscene. And now that we've had that conversation, we can resume the boat travel. Ah, good old boat party. So, when are we running into some zombie... pirates? It's a cutscene. of all waters. Leviathan! Damn it, I could have sworn this would never happen again. Don't stand about! Reef the sails, you witless dogs! By the way, I'd be a sea captain, could you tell? Uh, oh no! Action, Young, here to save the day! You know, Kane would never do that. Or maybe he would. Maybe he'd get jealous of the sea. Edward. Did you really get knocked out by the boat toppling? Oh, and now Leviathan's gonna personally kill me. Thanks a lot, jerk. <laughs> 